Hello and welcome back to the tutorial. In this next section, we'll look at searching for RCTs in Embase and also the Cochrane Central Register of Control Trials. Before we launch into Embase, let's just review the search question from the introduction. In a 40-year-old female with alcohol dependence, which pharmacotherapeutic option, baronycline, bupropion, or nicotine replacement therapy, is the safest and most efficacious for achieving and maintaining smoking cessation. So in the library homepage, under e-resources and indexes, we'll do a search for Embase and link using the connecting links. So what you'll want to click on is the Embase 1980 to present on the top left-hand side. We're now in the database. Smoking cessation is a central concept here, so we're going to enter that as a keyword in the search box. When we enter keywords, the database automatically tries to map the keyword to an existing official mTree subject heading. In this case, our keyword, smoking cessation, also maps to exactly the same subject heading, smoking cessation. Let's click on it to see where this term or where this subject heading falls in relation to other headings. You'll see that smoking cessation is a synonym for headings like nicotine abstination, nicotine cessation, smoking abstinence, etc. So it seems like we we have the proper term here. In terms of where it fits in levels of specificity, smoking cessation is a fits under broader terms of health behavior and prof prophylaxis. So in other words, there are no narrower headings under it. So we don't really have reason to explode here. So we're going to continue. And this results in our first search set. Now, alcohol dependence is another patient characteristic. Our particular clinical question, um, within our particular clinical question, this is an important term, when you're searching, you may not always want to include every aspect of the patient's characteristics, but here it is salient. So we're going to go ahead and search for this. And this is a judgment call as to whether you think a patient characteristic is important enough to be factored into a search or not. Again, we'll look at the subject heading. And again, alcoholism does not have narrower headings. So there's no point in exploding, and we'll continue. This then brings us to the subheading display. And as you may recall, subheadings allow you to specify more specific aspects of an mTree subject heading. They can be great sometimes when you are trying to specify, let's say, for example, an aspect of a drug. But if you use subheadings too liberally, they can also be quite limiting. So in this case, let's continue. And that forms our second set. Now, there are drug terms that we can factor into our search. We could search varonycline, bupropion, and the various nicotine replacement therapies individually as mTree headings and factor them into our search using N. But that might actually be too limiting because keep in mind that the more you combine with and, the more selective you're being and therefore the number of results decrease. So at this point, I think it might be wise to combine one and two which, as you can tell right now, have very large numbers of results. But combining, you might be surprised to find that it's quite a small number. So let's try it, one and two. And that results in 300 
and 73 results, which actually isn't a huge number when you think about how many we were starting off with. But we're not actually finished yet because we're looking specifically for randomized control trials. In Embase, if you go into the limits, randomized control trial is not available as a publication type. So the strategy that you need to use here is to enter randomized with a Z controlled ED trial, and this will map to the M tree heading. So instead of selecting a publication type as you would in Medline, you actually have to enter randomized control trial as an M tree heading. And you can tell it's an M tree heading because whenever there is this slash, that means that the term is being recognized as a subject heading. Now, indexing or the process of classifying articles isn't always perfect. And so there may be randomized control trials that are missed because someone did not tag it with this M tree heading. So what you can do to make sure that we're getting, we're searching more comprehensively is to then supplement randomized control trial, the M tree heading, with a keyword strategy. And what I would recommend is randomi with the truncation symbol, which in Ovid is the dollar sign, and this will allow you to pick up randomized with a Z or randomized with an S. And what the dot TI comma AB does is it helps you limit to the word randomized within title and abstract. So you're not searching everywhere in the record. So this will help with the precision. So you'll notice that I'm actually unchecking the map term to subject heading now because we want to search this as a keyword. Okay. And you'll see that it brings up large numbers. By the way, you can click on expand here and see all the search sets that you have created so far. Can you guess how you would need to combine the sets next? I'll give you a moment to think about that. If you were thinking three and four or five, you're correct. And when all is done, we actually get a very small number, 47, which is not a bad number for scrolling through and seeing whether the results are relevant to us or not. So when we look at the results, we see a couple of items that look promising right off the bat. Records two and three both appear to be randomized trials in an alcohol-dependent population. So this search strategy isn't perfect, but it does help you cut the numbers down. And by using the M tree headings, you're able to increase the relevance. Having said that, I should mention that using the strategy of randomized control trial as an M-base heading won't always get you just the randomized control trial. So what your search results will include, include randomized control trials plus articles that talk about randomized control trials. So it's not actually um, an absolutely watertight category, but it sure helps to to focus on this publication type. Now, another resource that's excellent for finding randomized control trials is an Ovid SP database called the Central Register of Controlled Trials. And you can find this database by going to the Change Database link up at the top left. And it's one of the EBM reviews databases, so it's this link here, 
EBM Reviews Cochrane Central Register. And what this database is, is a database of control trials that have been identified as part of an international effort to create a source of data for systematic reviews, which we'll talk about in a little while. The database is created by the Cochrane Collaboration, which is an international group devoted to disseminating evidence-based information. Most of the trials in this source are indexed in Medline or Embase, but the database also includes trials from other published and unpublished sources. So it's a really good database if you're looking specifically for trials. Now we're going to, as we're changing the database, we'll want to start fresh. So let's open and clear our search history. And we're now in the Cochrane Central Register of Control Trials. It can be confusing in Ovid SP because every database looks the same, but the title is usually up in the, in the gray bar of the search section. So this database, because it brings in records from Medline, offers you the option of mapping to mesh subject headings. So for example, if we search smoking cessation as a keyword, the database will take us to the official subject heading that corresponds, so the official mesh heading, not the M-tree heading. And when we click on this, we're given the tree structure from mesh. And again, you can see that it's different from the M-tree display that we just viewed in the earlier part of this section. So smoking cessation in mesh does not have any narrower term. So we're going to continue. And we're offered various subheadings, but we'll go ahead and continue through them as well. Now, if we search this way, the 1729 records here will all be med Medline records because we're searching as a mesh term. So in order to make sure that we're catching other trials that have been indexed in other sources, like mTree, we need to take a keyword strategy as well. So I'm going to uncheck this, and this time I'm going to run the search as a keyword search. And if you wanted to be, I guess, really fanatical, you could do smoke truncation symbol adjacency cessation, but we'll truncate it at the T. So what this means is that smoke or smoking is within two words of the word cessation. And you'll see that the numbers increase slightly. Now, for the second concept, alcohol dependence, I'm going to return to searching it as a mesh term so that we're getting those Medline records. And in Medline, the corresponding mesh heading is alcoholism. And if you look at the tree structure, again, you'll see that alcoholism does not have any narrower headings under it. So we'll continue here. And again, continue through the subheadings to pick up all the records. Now, again, um, alcoholism searched as a mesh heading will get you the Medline records but not records from other databases. So what I'd like to do here is supplement the strategy using keywords. Oops. So I'm going to try alcoholism as a keyword. And I will also, you can also do the same thing as before. So alcohol, let's say within two words of
abuse or abusing or dependent or dependent. And you can oops, do that using nesting. So you have the parentheses and you can use truncation symbol. So we're kind of pulling out the fancy moves here. So let's go ahead and run that search and see what the numbers are like. Okay, and I'm going to expand just so that I can see all the sets. Now, can you guess how things would have to come together here? What our next step would be in terms of combining? If you said one or two or three and four or five or six, you're right. That brings us down to 63 results. Now, this database includes not just randomized control trials, but control trials as well. So if you wanted to limit your results to the randomized control trials, you would have to take a keyword strategy again. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put in random I with the truncation symbol, but instead of searching it in the title or the abstract field, I'm going to search it as a publication type, and the publication type field is used in Medline, which is why I'm using it. And I'm also going to put in SD, which stands for study design. And study design is a category that's assigned by the database producers, the Cochrane Group. So just to make sure that I'm covering my bases, I'm actually going to search randomized or a, a variant of that in both PT, publication type, and SD, study design. Now that brings up a huge number of records but not to fear because we'll be combining it with our last set, which is seven. And that brings us to a much more manageable 55. And you can see what sorts of records are coming up. And you'll notice that the words that we specified as keywords are highlighted in red. Sometimes the full text is available, and whenever you see full text review, you can click on that rather than UBC eLink. If full text is not available, you would go to the UBC eLink and look for either the electronic full text within an electronic journal, or if that's not available as a print journal. Or you could also have the option, if neither of these is available, to order the item through interlibrary loan. So this concludes the RCT review. Please continue to section two, in which we will cover review articles, systematic reviews, and meta-analyses. Thank you. Archive recording has